In this module, we will discuss the normal and non-normal operations of the Inertial Reference System, or IRS. We will begin with an overview of the system. The Inertial Reference System uses accelerometers and laser gyros to measure airplane movement in all three axes. The movement is then sent to an IRS computer for processing. Three inertial reference systems, left, center, and right, provide flight information to the flight instruments. The IRS also provides present position to the flight management computer in terms of current latitude and longitude. Flight management computers use the position information for navigating to the flight plan waypoints. The flight management computer position is covered in the flight management system introduction module. The IRS must be aligned before it can be used. Alignment refers to the process the IRS goes through to determine the airplane's relationship to true north. During alignment, the IRS senses earth rotation and gravity. The IRS uses Earth rotation and gravity information to calculate latitude and true heading. Before the IRS can complete alignment, the airplane's present position must be entered. Present position is always described in degrees of latitude and longitude. Present position is entered through the FMS CDU. This operation will be covered in flight management training. Now let's look at normal operation of the IRS. The IRS controls are located on the overhead panel. Normally only the off position and nav position are used. Align and attitude positions will be discussed later in this module. When the selectors are off, information on various instruments are either flagged or not displayed. The IRS is normally powered by airplane AC power. Otherwise, the IRS will use DC power from the APU battery. The alignment process is initiated by rotating the selector from off directly to nav. The alignment completes in 10 minutes. After an internal self-test, the ICAST memo message IRS Align Mode is displayed, indicating alignment is in progress. Present position is then entered using the FMS CDU. First, enter the four-letter ICAO Departure Airport into the reference airport position. Then, compare the GPS position with the displayed reference airport position. If they are within reason, select the GPS position into the scratch pad and select this position into the set IRS position line. If GPS is not available, enter the most accurate latitude and longitude information available using the following in order of preference. Published gate coordinates reference airport coordinates, and finally, manually compute and enter the latitude-longitude position. Remember to record the latitude-longitude position entered in the set IRS position line on the master flight plan. During alignment, it is important that the airplane remain stationary. This ensures that the Earth's rotation is the only movement detected by the IRS. When alignment is complete, the IRS enters the navigation mode. The IRSs will now provide valid signals. The nav mode is most evident when heading information is displayed on the navigation display. The inertial reference units are very accurate over long periods of time. 
However, an IRS can accumulate some error in calculated present position, track, and ground speed. These navigation errors do not prevent accurate navigation since the FMC computes IRS position data as a weighted average of all three IRUs. If GPS or VOR DME signals are being received, the flight management computers use this information to further refine navigation information. Details on FMC navigation are covered later in flight management training. The nav position is detented to prevent unintentional movement out of nav. When turning an IRS off, you must pull the selector to rotate it out of the nav position. To save the APU battery, turn the IRS off before removing AC power. Question. Answer C is correct. Present airplane latitude and longitude must be entered to complete the alignment. Question. Answer B is correct. During alignment, it is important that the airplane remain stationary. This ensures that the Earth's rotation is the only movement detected by the IRS. Question. Answer A is correct. To remove the accumulated IRS attitude, navigation, and ground speed errors, a fast realignment mode is available. This mode is available only when the airplane is parked. A fast alignment may be accomplished if the combined operating time from the last full alignment to the next expected arrival does not exceed 18 hours. To accomplish fast alignment, rotate the IRS mode selector to align, enter present position, and rotate the IRS mode selector back to nav. Although it's not necessary to enter the present position, doing so results in greater accuracy. Rotating the selector to nav, the realignment begins. Fast realignment completes in 30 seconds. Fast realignment removes accumulated acceleration errors, providing for more accurate operation. Now, let's look at some non-normal operations. The ICAS advisory message, IRS motion, is displayed when motion is detected during alignment. Alignment will continue 30 seconds after the airplane is stopped and complete in 8 to 10 minutes. The FMC message, enter IRS position, is displayed if the IRS ever requires a present position. To update the present position, rotate the IRS mode selector to align, then enter the new present position and return the selector to nav. This will correct the present position. Remember, the airplane must not be moved during the alignment. The ICAS advisory message, IRS AC, indicates the IRS has lost its primary AC power source and has automatically transferred to DC power. 
The DC power will come from the APU battery and the IRS will continue to supply position information. With the loss of AC power, the center IRS will operate on the APU battery for only five minutes. It then shuts down. The ICAS advisory message IRS DC indicates that DC power from the APU battery is not available. The ICAS advisory message IRS left, center, or right is displayed when an IRS fault is detected. Loss of AC and DC power is one such fault condition. If power is restored, the ICAS memo message IRS align mode is displayed. Remember, while in motion, the IRS cannot realign. In flight, the IRSs will not align to true north. Selecting the attitude mode restores the attitude reference for all the using systems. The ICAS memo message IRS align mode will be displayed while the airplane's attitude is determined. The airplane must be flown straight and level until IRS attitude alignment is completed. When complete, the IRS Align Mode message is removed and attitude information is supplied to affected systems. The IRU will enter an Align Mode for approximately 30 seconds. While in Attitude Mode, the IRS will not supply heading to the flight instruments until an input is made to synchronize the heading reference. Manual synchronization of the IRS heading is accomplished by periodically entering a valid current heading in the FMS CDU. This heading is available for backup if all three IRUs fail. This is done using the position initialization page. Enter the heading on the set heading line 5L. This heading information is then sent to any IRU operating in the attitude mode. The set heading line blanks again, allowing subsequent entries. The set heading line will not be illuminated unless at least one IRU is in attitude mode. Anytime the attitude mode is selected, the navigation capability is lost until the airplane is parked and the system is realigned. When the ICAS advisory message IRS left, center, or right is displayed and the set IRS heading line is not displayed on the position analyzation page, the attitude mode is not available. That IRS should be considered unreliable. The IRS source selectors are located on the forward panel. With the faulty left IRS, selecting the center IRS would restore the captain's instruments to normal operation.